Welcome to Magic Workout, Adal Brujo here. Here's a Saturday quick workout. This is supposed to be done on Saturdays and it's gonna be quick and effective. And I give you a warm welcome. If, if this is the first time you are watching me here, welcome to Magic Workout again. And uh, just, I wanna say before we get started that Magic Workout is supposed to be an effortless workout where we work with the tension in our body and the energy going into that tension and the intention from our consciousness. So all of that together is going to bring tension and relaxation that is going to help us just materialize everything that we are affirming. This is a law of attraction based workout and it's supposed to feel effortless and playful. So just play with me by bringing your hands to the front and going back and forth. And when you go back, just go as far as you can for now and bring the hands. If you noticed, this has some kind of like a rhythm, like the air is heavy and I'm trying to push through it. It's not just going like this. It has some kind of, you know, some some kind of wave to it some kind of like a little uh, resistance if you know what i mean it's like pushing the air heavy air through your hands or opening a door and you go as far as you can and i'm actually moving my hands like this so this is our energetic field and we play with it we clean it up we clean up our consciousness this workout is the intention of this workout is to open up our third eye open up our intuition we already have all of the answers that we need inside of us and they are revealed through your intuition through your god through your hunches like um i feel like this should be done this way i feel like this is going to be this way and just listen to it. We are always bombarded by outside information. We are always being taught what to say and what to do and uh, do this and don't do that and whatever. And all of those voices and outside judgment that we receive are blocking our connection to our inner guardian. So just this session is aimed to shut those voices up and to start listening to our own intuition. <sighs> we keep on doing this and it's starting to burn and that's perfectly fine. Let's just keep on doing this and <sighs> feel that energy. Let's shake our hands. So in magic workout is it's not me telling you what telling you what you should do it's me sharing how i connect to myself so that I, you connect to yourself and we do this together this is uh, um, like you and me as friends just finding our own voice i'm not telling you to do what you should do or don't do this or don't do that I'm, for example, I'm sharing this movement and let's do it again, but you can just do it with your own style or rhythm. You can go up and down and open up a little bit more or make it more dramatic or make it faster or make it like waves, like you're sort of, sort of in a wave and not alternated or whatever you want to do, just go and move your arms back and forth. So the style and what you do with it, it's yours. And it's always been like that. So I'm keeping this energy, just playing with it and realizing how strong my intuition is. Remember, in Magic Workout, I speak in the first person, like I do, I am, I'm, I'm not having an ego trip. <laughs> I am not bragging. I am doing it as an affirmation 
so that it's useful for you too. You are supposed to say it in the first person too. I am enough. I am beautiful. I am perfect. I am happy. I feel joy. I am capable. I feel strong. And all of these affirmations, I am doing them in the first person and you are doing it in the first person and we are integrating this energy into our being, our DNA, our Akashic records and our whatever so that this vibration starts to elevate our physical reality and we're going to start to have a very smooth life instead of just going against reality we affirm ourselves from inside and accept reality as it is and this frequency is going to be elevated and we are going to feel great so just bear with me with this with this these affirmations and then just shake your hands from one side to the other just like this and now we are going to lie down on the floor i'm doing it a little raw because i am just on the floor but if you want to use a mat or a kilt or whatever that is comfortable for you just feel free to do so remember this is all about you so i am here and i'm going to bring my hips off the floor and down just up and down but when we do this, our hip is going to be like swayed front and back, like this, like this movement here, up and back. But we're making like a little circular, circular movement, like we are some kind of snake or a cheap table dancer, just showing everything. Just imagine that and be that and go back and forth. Remember, in magic workout, it's always useful to think that what you are doing is actually you are doing it with Henry Cavill. And don't play with me the I am straight kind of card because I know that even if you are straight, if Henry Cavill would play with you, you would be really happy. Don't deny that. So let's just imagine Henry Cavill handling this movement. <laughs> if you know what I mean, and just go down and up and... um back and forth with the hips so go deep Henry <laughs> and just enjoy the movement why do we force ourselves to take advice or take opinions from outside sources that don't have any minimum idea of what it's like to be ourselves. Nobody knows your own story. Nobody has the answers for you. They're all in you. And all you have to do is just take a little time to listen to that inner voice and pay attention to it and uh, make the right choices. Stop asking from outside from outside sources what is already inside of you. And we are still going up and down in a rhythm. Henry Cavill is just so gentle. And you are taking time to enjoy it. <laughs> so just go up and down. And now we are going to make little circles with the knees. Like we open and close the knees, the legs, and we are still playing around with our pelvis and our hips and adding this little circular motion. Just go up and down and enjoy the movement. If you make sure that everything that you do in your life, you are actually enjoying it, 
even before doing it, you are already enjoying it. Just the thought of it, it's enjoyment. And you make sure that everything you do has this vibration of, I have to make sure that I have fun with this. There's nothing that you cannot do or be or have and nowhere you cannot go because you are already there. You are already having fun. So just let it all unfold as it should and you will be fine. We are going to bring our feet together like this and put them on the floor and just let the knees fall to the sides and just stay there for a while just taking a time to shutting the mind and start to listen to our inner wisdom connected to our body This is the time to relax. So take deep breaths. And you know, every time that you take time for yourself, like this moment, there's gonna be a voice telling you that you should be doing something else or that you should go somewhere else or that you have pending tasks and blah, 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 blah. So all you have to do is just acknowledge those voices and let them pass. They will shut up if you don't engage. And come back to just taking a time for yourself. And now we are going to hit our groin here, this part where the leg is joint, jointed to the hip. And we're gonna hit. You will feel a little pain or a, or a little, you know, like a pull, and that's perfectly okay. So just keep hitting like a drum. And bring a smile to your face. Inside of me is a powerful wisdom, a powerful consciousness that is always available. And all I have to do is to wake up from the dream and wake up from my programming and just dismantle all of that and listen to this powerful source. And I trust what this powerful source is giving me and telling me. So for, from now on, I am inspired by this. I no longer seek for outside validation or outside acceptance or outside, even outside knowledge. It's all here right with me. And I only take from the environment what is going to be in accordance with this vibration. So now with the feet like that, we are going up and down again. Up and a little sway of the hips. And we go up and down and we make it as fun and pleasurable as possible. So that's why I always associate working out and movement with something that is pleasurable or something that is you know, just like uh, likable. So associate this moment with something pleasurable, something that is giving you pleasure and joy and enjoyment and fun. That's why I always say, imagine Henry Cavill, but you can go ahead and imagine whatever you want. I'm just here giving you ideas to have 
a more connected life in a more awake state so that you can always remember that you are in control of your life and all of your reality even when you choose to not be and you have excuses like ah, i can't do this or i shouldn't do this or someone is not allowing me to do this that's just you creating that story in your mind if you find a way to change that narrative you will find that you are not subjected to anyone and to any condition you are just taking life and living it with all of your might and control and attention and awareness and that's all that we are waking up here so now we are going to put our legs together and we're going to embrace our legs we're going to be like a little nugget so i'm here if you can't go this far just do it where you can but try to bring yourself up and grab your your legs eventually you will be able to go a little bit deeper and deeper so i'm here and i'm just oh paying attention to what my body is telling me and then just go back but now our feet and our legs are together and we are gonna do the same movement open that with the flow this is not just going up and down in a boring way but actually involving our spine and trying to move our pelvis up and down and we do it consciously paying attention to what we are doing feeling the muscles feeling the movement but it shouldn't feel with a struggle if you are struggling or in a struggle to do something it's not the right path for you what is yours comes easily and it comes with almost like in a flick of your hand so whatever is happening right now in your life that's the door it's not the ideal stuff that we have in our minds it's the present moment what is going on actually right now what is going to give us the access to whatever we want so reject struggle and effort and get into flow and allowance it doesn't mean that you have to be just sitting down on your butt you're actually moving you want a healthy body you have to let's do it again go up and down if you want a healthy body you have to do the work to get it but the work is not supposed to be exhaustive it has to be a little playful it has to have a little play in it and you just go ahead and do it and enjoy it every day like coming here and work out with me just enjoy it every day and you will have to take some action too when it comes to what you are eating and what you are drinking and you will have to start to make choices if you want a healthy powerful body and we start taking responsibility of our actions and our lack of action and start to have this inner wisdom guiding us so struggle means you are forcing yourself to do something or you are trying to force the universe to give you something but the universe doesn't work with struggle it works with ease just see nature a river just go downstream and uh, the water just falls down and the little plants they grow by, the, by themselves with not 
with no effort, without noise, they just grow. Everything in nature, in the Tao, is just effortless. It's just a flow, a flow of information, a flow of frequencies. So you just have to connect to that frequency, go inside yourself and realize that you are on the right path, right where you are. And whatever you want to see improve, you just say it, connect it, go inside yourself and place yourself in that frequency. And that's all you have to do. So let's just bring your hands again here. And we are trying to go deeper. And go down. Now, let's do this. We are going to create tensions. Tensions, a word that means conscious tension. And what we have to do with conscious tension is imagine a beam of light going coming from the earth, going through the body, up your spine, up your head, and tense all of the muscles when that happens. Your stomach is supposed to be sucked in and you have to tense all of the muscles in your body that you remember that you have. And then release. What this thing is going to do is going to activate all of the muscles in your body and you will start to develop strength and flexibility because we are doing it in you know like um compromised poses or positions that are usually in our end range of motion so we reach our end range and we tense and those muscles that are just um, sleeping will start to wake up and you will become stronger and more flexible so let's do that let's put our feet like this, separated, and we are going to bring the hips up, push to your end range, which means, like I said, the part where you say, I can't take it no more, or bring it up no more, and then create the tensions and bring it up. Tense all of your muscles. And release. Now, if you hear me doing this annoying noise, it's because it's easier if we do it like that. We imagine the electricity, the tension, and the sound of it, and that's going to make it easier for us to just tense more, get more tension. So let's do it again. I'm going to reach the end range, push us up as high as I can, and then I bring the tensions up. And release and smile. <laughs> and just let this energy sink in. My inner wisdom is always talking to me and I am always ready to listen to it. I stop taking information from outside. I give it a little rest. I appreciate all of the knowledge that I get from outside sources. But in the end, eventually, all what really matters is inside of me. So all of the choices I make are aligned to this wisdom, to this, to this God feeling, and I follow it, and I never regret that. Even if my decisions may seem contradictory, they will eventually settle because everything is working out for me. I trust that everything that happens is for a higher good. So let's bring it up and push the hips a little bit further and bring the tensions up and release now we are gonna do it with our feet together 
so I'm going to push I push 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 a little bit more and then bring the tensions up tense all of the muscles oh I had a little cramp on my glutes <laughs> uh, uh, and let's just do it one more time bring your beautiful hips up push your beautiful glutes to the front and bring the tensions up and release and let's hug the right leg It's a beautiful thing to just lay down here and move a little and give myself permission to just feel without much thinking. Feel my body, feel the energy in my body and uh, program it with my visions, my desires and bring them and make them true right now. knowing that I'm always on the right track. So now that we are hugging the leg here, we are going to push it down a little bit further, find the end range, and then bring the tensions up. Remember that all of your muscles should be in tension. One, two, three, tensions. Oh. And just release. And let's hug the other leg. And just be here. I always make sure to give myself some time to just be with myself without outside information or outside sources coming in i just block it all off and give myself permission to just be with myself and listen to the inner wisdom that is already mine i have a beautiful wisdom that is always communicating with me and it's giving me the right guidance and uh, it's helping me with to take the right decisions and uh, i know that this connection is well because i feel so damn good the more i do it i feel so much better so le let's push a little bit find the end range and bring the tensions up and release and let's just shake our legs like this let this beautiful intention and this energy just take over you so now we are going to lay down face down and just let your body rest imagine that you are a little fluffy bread into an oven getting warmed growing beautifully <laughs> what am i saying <laughs> i think i'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> but anyway we are just relaxing here take a moment to feel the floor to feel the connection with mother earth no matter if you're inside your home like i am now or 
if you do it out in the garden where in a surface it's just about feeling the connection to this beautiful magnetic mother earth that is sustaining us and is giving us everything to live this life Thank you, Mother Earth, for everything that you give me. So now we are going to do the cobra, the cobra pose, like in yoga. We are going to bring our body up like this. If you have back problems or this is too much for you, just try and do it with your elbows on the floor instead so we are like here and i'm going to bring myself up i'm going to do it here because this is my end range actually so i'm going to push the shoulders down and bring the head up and let your neck stretch so now we are coming down and push ourselves back and try to put your forehead on the floor but if you can't do this if this is too much don't worry just do it in your own capabilities they will be improving if you come work out with me every day. So now let's go back to Cobra. And now we are going to do the tension stuff. We're going to tense all of our muscles. Do it carefully. Try to not do it with all of the intensity. Just go gradually up and up and until you reach your end range of tension too. So find your end range here and Bring the tensions up. And release. And go back. And we are relaxing here, and we are going to create create the tensions. Bring the tensions up. Push your hands down to the floor so that you create more tension. Let's do it again. I'm gonna be here, and I'm going to bring the tensions up. Tense all of the muscles and release and let's go back to cobra and push your arms down shoulders away from the ears stretching the neck and bring the tensions up ah and release and let's sit with our legs wide open like this. We are gonna try, what we are gonna do is just sit as vertical as we can. That's all the effort required right now. Just sit. It's gonna cramp a little. For me, I'm getting cramps here. So if you want to push yourself like this with your arms, do it too so that your back is straight my back is gay but it's straight if you know what i mean actually i am gay and i'm straight too actually i'm a female and a male in the same body <laughs> yeah i i don't like to tag, tag myself i have two energies feminine and masculine and they 
they are harmonized and they are happy together. So I'm in balance between my masculine and feminine energies. I understand that I can be a male and a female at the same time. I have the masculine energy that makes me go and get things and get stuff and get the things done and be a little assertive. But I also have this feminine energy that is attractive and it's uh, creating attraction towards me of everything that I consider good and pleasurable and beautiful. And these two energies work together and are creating a beautiful life. And I am grateful for that because I am realizing that. With this little affirmation, I'm bringing my energies into balance. They are making love. They are having a great time together. They live in everlasting love. They are complete. They complement each other. They complement each other. My masculine side has learned to be receptive to, and my feminine side has learned to be assertive to. They are all the same, expressing in different parts of my consciousness and my psyche. But my life is reflecting this beautiful union. So everything around me is being harmonized. My body is being harmonized. My finances are being harmonized. My love stories are being harmonized. My relationship with myself is getting harmonized. My finances are getting harmonized. My pursuits and my goals and my job, they're all being harmonized. They are all masculine and feminine energy playing in freedom. <laughs> so we are still sitting here no nothing else is required but now we are going to create the tensions so when we create the tensions we are going to bring the energy through our feet through our legs through our spine and our head but when that happens the tension is going to push the legs down to the floor like we are trying to break the floor with the pressure of our legs down so let's do it. One, two, three, tensions. Oh. And just take a little time to rest. If you noticed, my feet are being like rolled or pointed out like this. When I create the tensions, they don't stay like uh not being involved in the movement. They are being involved and they are getting tension. So the fingers are like uncurling themselves and just pointing them. All the body is in beautiful conscious tension. So let's do it again. Bring the tension up. And release. So now we are going to go a little to the front, making sure that our back is not hunching. If you can't go like this, it's okay. Just to stay a little bit challenging, but not in struggle. And find your end range, how deep you can go without hunching your back. Hunching your, the back would be like this. So I'm trying to be as straight as possible, which for me is kind of impossible, like I said, but I'm gonna, Stay as straight as possible and just bring the legs down and bring the tensions up. And release. And let's do it again. So we go to the front and we set our back straight and then push the legs down and bring the tensions up and 
And let's just bring our legs like this so we have a little break. I am smart enough to figure out my own answers without validation from outside. This is my life and I have the right to make my own decisions and do my own research and find the useful stuff that works for me in the moment. And I allow myself to just shut everything up and listen to myself. Let's get our legs wide again, spread them wide, bring the back vertical and push yourself forward and find the end range where you say, this is it. I think I can do it a little bit more and then bring the tensions up. <sighs> And relax. Let's do it one more time. I'm coming down, 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 down. And bring the tensions up. And let's just sit. So we are having our breath work, inhaling through the nose. And I want you to imagine that the air is some kind of energy that you are bringing to your forehead. Focus the attention on your forehead. And when we exhale, we are going to go and feel this voice and the vibrations right in your forehead. We are awakening our third eye and making it stronger. So let's do it together now, baby. We breathe in. Oh. Oh. Take a full breath in, squeeze all of your muscles, bring the energy up, let it go, take a little sip of air, breathe out, and hold your breath for as long as you can.
Breathe in. Bring the energy up. And let go. I love giving myself time to just be and just breathe effortlessly and joyfully and I give myself time to move my body and to have this beautiful connection with my vision and to create all of the thought forms that are guiding me and leading me towards the kind of life that I want and I deserve so all of this is becoming true right in front of my eyes and I trust my connection I trust my vision and I trust my intuition I trust my gut feeling and I know that is all right every time that this connection is saying something that is uplifting me if what I am thinking is giving me bad feelings or pain or I feel like a prisoner that's an ego talk but I I am learning to shut the ego and just drop down to my gut feeling and I know I will find this beautiful sensation every time so thank you for working out with me today i hope you enjoyed the workout it was a short one and an easy one as always and um, see you tomorrow sunday don't forget to comment and to subscribe if you haven't done so and to leave a comment below just let me know how you're feeling don't be a stranger no matter how many times i'm gonna tell you it's it's good to create community and to just communicate with each other so hasta la vista baby